In a previous video, we actually covered a card company or a game store called Clutch Cards. And right on Def's bed, at the time, the owners must have known that they didn't have the capital to continue because they filed for bankruptcy right after and they closed their store. They lived a very lavish life. They went to all these events, met all these celebrities. Does this sound a little bit familiar? It should because that's Mike Waddell and Andy and Shaw and the rest of the Steve Aoki and the rest of the artists and so on. They lived beyond their means and in a last desperate attempt to go get money, they pre-ordered Pokemon and One Piece. If you look at the Fred the Reddit, and they're called Clutch Cards, exactly how you think it would be spelled, you can see that many of their biggest fans were very mad. They had pre-ordered things, and they were never going to receive them. Wouldn't you be mad? I would be very mad. And you can see in that thread, a lot of people were quite disappointed. They had mentioned, oh, I pre-ordered for them multiple times before. I'm a loyal customer. I've even been to the store before, talked to the owner. I can't believe they did this. This isn't the only time it's happened. In Magic the Gathering, it happens quite often to online retailers. When they build a very big reputation, they get into a little bit of financial problems. Maybe they bought a set too much into a set that failed. And they do a pre-order and they all know that the pre-order is not going to be delivered when they make when they take people's money when they take the customer money they understand that i the factory is not printing this is meta zoo but what makes this even more crazy and this makes it another level in my opinion from the typical clutch cards or there are many magic stores i've done this in the past is that they then, the owner, Mike Waddell, went on Whatnot with his friend Bailey, who is the anti-Argos Anonymous, right? Very interesting, that relationship. Love to explore it more. Have both of them on my live stream. Yeah, um, to raise money for Mike's lawyer. What is Mike's lawyer going to do, guys? So instead of raising money to pay people back their pre-orders, right? Let's say they raised $30,000 selling original artist artwork, which is kind of problematic itself. Why does Mike Wardell own all the art? Like in the Magic the Gathering, Teresa Nielsen paints a beautiful force of will. She still has that painting, and if she wants to sell the painting, she can sell it for six figures, and the money will go to her pockets, which that should be the way it would work. You only license the artwork, it seems like Mike just owns all the artwork, the original artwork, for whatever reason. Uh, even, he was even on a TV show basically saying that he had commissioned these two sketches for $20 a piece, $40 total. And now the, quote, value of these two sketches made by Poncho, the guy who does Alpha Investments promos, is now considered to be the $25,000. What a come up on that. But that's neither here nor there. That's just kind of the FOMO right, of MetaZoo, uh, that you can take a $40 item and then suddenly it's magically $25,000. Crazy, no? You can take a, what, $100 booster box and then sell it for $8,200 alpha investments? Not bad. Not bad, right? Not a bad pump and dump day in the pump and dump world. Anyway, but back to the reason I'm saying this. I've never seen a case where the victims, and they are victims, they were scammed, they paid money for a pre-order. They never got it. This is whatever you think they are. I had the most utter... I was going to buy MetaZoo. I've been very public. There's videos way before where I said if I ever got a hold of MetaZoo, I would just print out the Rudy promos. And if I could, the Hello Kitty. But I was worried that the Hello Kitty, Sam Rio, we breached their contract. We didn't pay them. They're suing us. Are they really going to let me print more Hello Kitty cards? Probably not, right? It's probably somewhere in that contract that I would need to review says that if I breach the contract, I have to immediately stop production of anything Hello Kitty related. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know for a fact. You have to see the contract. So the only cards that are worth any anything are the Kickstarter cards, which we're not going to, I mean, I wouldn't reprint that. I wouldn't do that to those people. 
and the Rudy cards, which no one said we cannot on we cannot pre the crown eater still goes for like a hundred dollars complete. So I owe you a native streamer kit. Let me send you a crown eater with all the pieces. Right? It doesn't make you whole. No, let me send you a playset of them, okay? Obviously it's gonna tank the price, but I mean, it's the only thing that we have that's worth anything. Maybe we have some... The playmats are not worth anything at all, it turns out. Maybe we send them Santa Claus. Maybe we send them, like, one of each Rudy promo as a, you know, thank you for, like, we effed you. Um, I would have made them whole. I would have made every pre-order whole. I can't say that for the next owners, and I can't say that for anyone, but I would have done that because it, it actually serves my benefit, Right? It, it, you guys know why what I would do that. You you absolutely know I would spend money out of my pocket to pay for those print runs, to pay for the shipping, so you can get them. Maybe you pay for the shipping. I don't know. Like it, it really depends. If there's like 600 pages of victims, you know, I, I could be out twenty thousand dollars just in shipping these things. I might need to like a little help there, but I'm sure I'm sure like people would do that because I'm giving them quote value, which is all they really care about at this point in time. So they paid for a lawyer to file for bankruptcy. That's like the people, let's say like you pre-ordered, you know, some one piece from Clutch Cards at a good price. You never received it. And Clutch Cards then sends an email out to all the people who they scammed saying, hey, you know what? We need to raise money for a lawyer. And you're like, oh, great, great, great. Why, why do you guys need a lawyer? Is it because, uh, you know, somebody cheated you and those cards are in limbo and we, we hire a lawyer so we can get our pre-orders? No, we're going to hire a lawyer so we don't have to give you your pre-order so we can bankrupt. And in bankruptcy, we are going to wipe you all out. Okay, thumbs up, guy. No, that community on Reddit was so pissed. I don't know what the hell this is. MetaZoo might be a cult? Because at this point in time, I have no idea why no one's upset at... Without, there's maybe like one dude who's upset. He makes videos too on YouTube. Um, there's maybe one dude who is upset. Like if they scammed 600 people, not scam, okay. If, if they did that many pre-orders knowing or having a good idea, at some point in time they must have known the company is going to belly under, then they fundraise their attorney so the attorney can file for bankruptcy and in bankruptcy the... 1.7 million dollars of debt is discharged some of that debt and as nick strength and pokemon says he believes a large majority of that is just pre-orders who that who are these people right these are not rational logical people why would you fund i mean this has to be stockholm syndrome it has to be Stockholm Syndrome, guys. Um, I, I really cannot think of another way that this would make any sense. I, I, I truly cannot. Why would you fund a lawyer by, on whatnot by buying original artwork so the CEO can dissolve his debt? Most of that debt being debt he owes you, either the player or the customer. Can someone please, for the life of me, explain me to me this? Like, this might come down as, like, the... Unless it's Stockholm Syndrome, this is some type of weird cult. I don't know why people would fund their abusers to abuse them some more. I've said this. You can watch my video where I said I would print 1 million Rudy cards. Out of my own pocket, I would print that and send it to everyone who was owed. Send them, you know, and that I was exaggerating. I would send them like 100 copies of every Rudy card. That was a little exaggeration, but I would have done that. Sucks to be you, I guess.